what we're teaching people how to do is not to pray to have their prayers answered. but to get up from their meditations as if their prayers are already answered. Because when they're combining that clear intention of their future with that elevated emotion, they're literally changing their energy, they're changing their brain chemistry, they're changing the way their brain works, they're changing their genetic expression, they're changing their chemistry. They're literally becoming somebody else. It may take them months to turn their disease around but over and over again we've seen this. They come back uh, to a certain level of awareness and the disease is no longer there. We've seen it enough times now to know that people reach a certain point with themselves where they feel so whole, they feel so satisfied with who they are, they feel so happy with themselves and their lives that they could care less if they have the disease and that's the moment it goes away over and over again. survival to living in creation, transmuting the flesh and being the alchemist and turning limited emotions into elevated emotions and freeing yourself. And to breathe with a level of energy and intensity that's greater than the addiction of any emotion. Freeing yourself from the past. Come on, here we go now. Contract those intrinsic muscles, perineum, lower abdomen, upper abdomen, and as you pull those muscles up and in, inhale through your nose and in one slow, steady breath, pull that energy from your perineum, through your lower abdomen, through your upper abdomen, through your chest, through your throat, through your brain, all the way to the top of your head and hold it at the top of your head and allow your energy to follow your awareness and hold it and squeeze. Come on. Hold it. Hold it. And as you exhale, now relax. Come on, be your own hero. Overcome yourself and free the body from the past. Come on. Again now, like drawing fluid up a straw. Inhale through your nose and contract those intrinsic muscles. Come on, pull that energy from your perineum all the way to the top of your head and hold it at the top of your head and let your energy follow your awareness and hold it there. Come on, hold it. And as you exhale now, relax. From matter to energy, creating your own electromagnetic field.
Come on again now. Come on. Pulling the mind out of the body and freeing yourself. Contract those intrinsic muscles. Come on. Perineum, lower abdomen, upper abdomen. Inhale through your nose and pull that energy from your body all the way into your brain. Hold it at the top of your head. Come on, hold it. Hold it. Come on, let that energy move into your brain and hold it there. Hold it. Come on, hold it. And as you exhale, now relax. Come on, freeing your body from the past. You have to use a level of intensity that's greater than the hardwired programs in your brain and the emotional memories in your body. Come on, here we go now. Come on, squeeze those muscles and inhale through your nose and pull that energy from the base of your spine all the way to the top of your head. Hold your attention at the top of your head and let your energy follow your awareness. Hold it there. Come on, squeeze and hold. Hold it. Hold it. Come on, hold it. And as you exhale, now relax. Come on, be the alchemist. Limited emotions into elevated emotions. Here we go, come on. Using your body as an instrument of consciousness. Squeeze those intrinsic muscles. Come on, pull them up and all the way in and inhale through your nose. Come on, pull that energy all the way to the top of your head. And hold it at the top of your head. Come on, hold it. Allow that energy to follow your awareness. Come on, hold it with the intention of pulling the mind out of the body and freeing yourself from the past. Come on, hold it. Hold it. And as you exhale, now relax. Relax. the vortex. Create a field around you. By liberating energy, you have to go after it. Come on, take a big drink on this one now. Come on. Inhale and contract those muscles and follow that energy from your perineum through your body all the way to the top of your head and squeeze and hold at the top of your head. Come on, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. And as you exhale now, relax. Relax. of your head in space. And 
can you feel? The volume of space. At the center of your head occupies in space and can you become aware of the volume of space beyond your head in space
that your throat occupies in space.
become nobody. No one. No thing. Nowhere. In no time. To become pure consciousness. And to unfold as an awareness. infinite space of all possibilities. And to invest your energy into the unknown. And the longer you unknown, the more you draw the new experience to you in your life. And what is abundance? Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to have all of your needs met? What could that feel like? And what is inspiration? Come on, can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to be empowered by an idea and to see a future without obstacles? What would that feel like? What is vitality? Come on. Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to have limitless energy? What would that feel like?
and what is divinity? Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to be moved by the spirit? What could that feel like? What is passion? Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to be in love with life? What would that feel like? What is knowingness? Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to trust in the unknown? What would that feel like? What is clarity? Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to have a coherent mind and heart? What would that feel like? What is presence? Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to have all of your attention and energy in the moment? What? And what is surrender? Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like 
to give your creation to a greater mind. What would that feel like? What is the mind of the healer? Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to give life to life? What would that feel like? What is the miraculous? Come on. Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to do the uncommon? What will that feel like? What is the mind of the mystic? Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to live in awe and to be mystified by all of life? What could that feel like? What is adventure? Come on. Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to expect the unexpected? And to embrace the unknown? What could that feel? What is wholeness? Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to be worthy of receiving? What would that feel like?
What is grace? Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to have effortless elegance? What would that feel like? What is appreciation? Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to give thanks for a future before it's made manifest? Come on. What would that feel like? Finally, what is the greatest expression of yourself? Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to be unlimited? divine to have a joy for existence and to love who you are and all of life can you teach your body emotionally what your future could be like now and allow your body to respond to a new mind. opportunities to you. Take your left hand and place it over your heart. I want you to bless your body to a new mind, that it be lifted by your consciousness. To bless your life, that it be an extension of your mind. To bless 
wakes your soul, that it wakes you up from this dream. And to bless the divine in you, that it move in you. Ready? 